Welcome back, this is the Amachek. We got uh, Velocity Ultra today. It's available for $10.99 Canadian on Steam, so probably like $9.99 American or, or something around there. Um, I have no idea what this game is. I tried reading the, the store page, like, I just, I don't get it. I have, I have absolutely no clue <laughs> what we're getting into. It's some kind of space, We've got bombs and all kinds of weirdness. Scroll boost. You can control how fast the screen scrolls. Use the RT or boost button to scroll boost. Get used to how it feels. You're going to be using it a lot. Okay, so you got like a teleport thing. Telepod quota depleted. What's the boost though? It's like a weird space shooter thing. Highlighting the quirk jet. Use the directional controls or left stick to navigate. The corp jet is strong enough to hit the walls and not take damage. Oh, sick. Thank you, game, for not being super punishing. Okay, so you can teleport through things, evidently. I like that. Stranded survivors. Rescue survivors by collecting survivor pods. Yoink. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Can go way farther, right? Yeah. Check that out. Oh. To shatter the glass and collect survivors, hold fire to auto fire and yoink the survivors right out of the glass. Okay, now this tutorial is. I don't know how to, to boost faster. Um. I don't know how to boost faster. I would. I, is do I have like a boost thing that I can do? Oh dear. Keep your ship low on the screen when boosting, you'll be able to see where you're going more easily. I don't know how to boost though. Oh there it is, shift. Okay, this is this is an incredible time is limited. See how quickly you can reach the exit. Go. I'm going. Fast as I can. Alright, alright. What's really weird is those bombs I was using are like I J K L, yeah. So like W A S D to move around, and then you have to use your mouse to like fire and teleport and stuff, and then I J K L way over at the other side of your keyboard to um, fire bombs, which is, is is very very pecky. All right, let's continue on to the next zone. I understand this uh, this game now. I have mastered this game, in fact. Short form teleport. I know how to teleport. Wait, stop. We need to teleport in here. Teleport in here and get these survivors. Teleport right the heck out. Wait, what's this? Stop. I want to get that. I don't know what it is, but I want it. Get up here and then we uh, we zoom down to the bottom. Get up here and zoom down to the bottom. It's a little bit hectic at this point, honestly. I'm gonna be straight with ya. So, uh, I'd like to see more enemies and stuff, honestly. Or any enemies, for that matter. Because uh, we have not currently had any fights to do, but I'm, I'm assuming there'll be fights in the future, right? It makes sense for there to be, or maybe it's just about making it through quickly. I don't know. I can't even read this stuff. Like, honestly, my eyes just don't do this. This text on this background, I just, I can't, I can't, I can't read it. <laughs> my, my eyes don't do it. Grab weapon packs to activate special weapons. The weapon bar at the bottom left of the screen shows you how much charge you have. Hey, there's the enemies that I wanted. Zetacron Swarm. Alien scavengers are stealing our resources. Take them down. Destroy all aliens in a wave and gain a weapon charge pack. Cool. That seems pretty sweet. Yoink. Get dusted, son. 
I want, I want this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Look at this expert performance here. Ooh. Nope, give me that. I don't really know what, what the, the... I mean, it said what it was, but I don't... It's giving me the wrong, like, stuff. I don't get it. I just, I don't get it. I don't, I don't understand what the charge packs do. I get charges, but, like, what do the charges do? How do I, how do I use the charges? Is it perhaps for the, uh... Um, the, the, the weird triangle thing, maybe? I don't know. I'm very confused. Doesn't do a good job of uh, explaining it to me. Maybe it does a good job of explaining it to you. Maybe, maybe you're watching this and you're like, well, it's obvious. It's, it's this thing. But I don't, I don't know. Again, I can't read all this text, so I have no idea what it says. I have my glasses on, but it's just, it's hard, it's hard to read that kind of stuff. And when stuff's hard to read and I don't really think I need it, I just, I choose to, to not read it, you know? I'm, I'm assuming those are bombs, so I don't want to touch them. Oop, we lost the survivor. I don't, I want it to do perfect, you know? I thought I could, uh, I thought I could make it maybe, but I cannot. I'm not quite that good yet. No, please! No, please, please. It's it's so hard to do this in like fast, in fast. It's hard to do this quickly and accurately. Those are bombs. I'm confident that those are. Oops. Got him. Okay, apparently they're not bombs. They're just uh. Okay, you have three lives. I don't know where it says I have three lives. Oh, at the top left in the place where lives, generally speaking, would go. Alright, alright, we're gonna, we're gonna, okay, you cannot, you cannot move while you are... Um... Like, trying to teleport. You can't, you can't control your, your spaceship. Please? Please? All right, all right. No, wait, stop. That was the wrong way to do that. We missed, we missed a survivor. I'm sorry. I'm a terrible, I'm a terrible rescuer. Okay, we missed two survivors. Look, we're gonna do this one again. And... Replay zone. We can do this. I believe in me. I do. I'm confident that this is within my, like, doableness, you know? I believe that this can definitely be done. Gotta go over here, over here, and then over here, then over here. Grab these boys, then over here. Up these boys, and then you gotta get a little shooty. You gotta get a little shooty. It's all about that memory, of which I have a, an excellent one, as we've, we've discussed numerous times before. No! I was, I went through it. I, I collided with it. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? We're gonna do it this time, I promise. I'm confident. I was confident last time, but it was a different kind of confidence. This time it's a... Uh, I know what I'm doing. And I, I've, I've demonstrated that I can do it. Ok. 
Okay. You get a little shooty going on. Then it's all about just not missing this boy. Oh, wait. This boy right here. After the big one, I think, right? Right here. Yeah. No, 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 no. You, you get like a little bit of extra movement on the teleport. Because it uh, like pushes you forward. It doesn't like necessarily... You know, like I'm, I'm teleporting to here, but because I'm like dashing, I go like forward sort of. Very bizarre. Shoot the switch to disable. Okay. Sounds good to me, boy. Let's go. Oh wait, you have to you have to teleport across this. I teleported. What up, bro? Don't at me. This one I don't think I can do at full speed. The last one I was I was I felt pretty good going through it that first time. I felt like it was uh, it was definitely something that was within my uh, doableness. This one I'm like I don't know. Got some some weird jumps here going on. Oh boy, that's mine. No, I'm sorry, survivor. You're getting left. I don't feel good about this one. The last one felt good. It was it was a fun one. This one was uh, I mean it was good, but you know there's there's a certain you know oh well to it. <laughs> And I don't, I don't, I don't feel like going back and redoing it. It didn't, it wasn't a, it wasn't a super, st oh, hello. What's over here? Eh. Okay. Oh, dear. I still don't know what the charges are for, but. It's okay, I guess I, I may one day figure out, or probably not. Is the, is the more realistic. Right over here. Grab that. Right up here. Take him out. Let's go. Oh, that's the first time I've taken damage. That's that's. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. All right. All right. So you don't just instantly die. It takes away like a part of your health, and then you can. Cover some health, I guess. Which is kind of cool. Yeah, these things, they give you they give you your health back. Well, that's a bit of a concerning one. That's not what I've done. I've done something very different because it's a little bit more efficient, but please, I need this. I need this. Then I have to go way down here. Take you out nice and easily. Oh, please. Right here. Look at that. Look at that performance. Yoink. Okay. Should have gone for the other one first, but it's okay. It'll work out anyway. Let's go. I would like to continue. I see you. I see you. You think, you think I don't see you? I understand. A little, a uh, little bit of uh, enemies shooting back at me. I mean, what, what, what's worse that? Uh, I mean, worst that can happen, right? I don't need it. I don't need the health. I don't need your pity. You expect me to take damage on this? You're wrong. Okay, that that seems like it might be a good thing, but it also seems like a thing that I wouldn't want to test. In the heat of the moment. Gotta get used to using these as well, because they're pretty good. But they're they're hard to use because you have to move your entire hand over. Very not fun. Gotta like the, the default keybinds have to be better. I could fix the keybinds, but not without uh um, like restarting the game because the keybinds don't actually get changed until, like, except for in the uh, starting thing, you know? 
like in the uh, in the initial window for for startup. So there's uh, there's definitely some some issues to be resolved with that. The initial startup window is actually kind of like super bad too. A lot of problems with it. It was a uh, like setting controls sucked. Um, yeah, it was just uh, all around the, the initial setup window was like pretty bad. The game itself, I have I have like zero complaints about, but well, not really zero. I would like for the text to be a little bit more readable, but I mean, hey, that's that's more of a me problem than anything else. If you can read the text, then it's, it's clearly not a not an issue, right? And you might not be able to read it because I'm skipping it so quickly, but same time. Give me the survivor and their weird little paper pods. Wait, I wanted that. I wanted that. You didn't let me have it. Yoink. It is getting a little bit more uh, tricky, a little bit higher octane here going in here, and uh, you know I appreciate it. I appreciate the difficulty increase for sure. I'm a big fan of games that are uh, forgiving but challenging, and forgiving but challenging is, is a great way to uh, describe this game. If you want to perfect this game, if you want to be a master at this game, it's it's going to be uh, quite the the challenge for you. But if you make a couple of mistakes, you're not really you're not losing much other than time, right? So you're not gonna. I mean, just being real with you, you're probably not gonna die in this game. It's not like it's hard, right? But it does uh, it does challenge you if you want to uh, to get better at it, I guess, which uh, which I can appreciate. The precise controls you need to you need to have better <laughs> keybinds than what I have right now. But and what can you do, right? But uh, it's, uh, the the gameplay itself is, is fine. It's just the, uh, the text which I have a minor issue with. Oh wait, stop! No. We're gonna go with a little bit of go with, go with the bombs. Okay, just get get the bombs out there. Okay, first place you can fire way faster. I don't have a. You can't teleport those. Is the is the thing. I wish I, wish I had. Uh, I don't know some way to yeah. I understand. I understand, I want to be able to use this for more things than just uh, this stuff. Fling bombs upwards, hold bomb, or B then hold up. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. I think it was telling me a way that I could uh, use bombs without... Uh, Having to, oops, without having to uh, move my hand all the way across the entire gosh darn thing. That'd be really cool, hey? Yoink. Yoink. Get destroyed, we get to teleport across there. You're done. You're done. You're done. Okay, and you're done. And so are you. Okay. Like you, you'd have you have no idea how much my my hands are moving right now. It's, it's kind of incredible. It's, it's a lot of uh, of hand movement. Must be destroyed at the sideways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Press fire or aid. I, mm. I understand. 
I understand what you're asking of me. You're teaching me how to throw bombs, but I've already been doing that since the dawn of time. It's extremely frustrating having to, to constantly like move back and forth between uh, mouse and then like keyboard with my right hand. But so teleport, I wish I had like a uh, bomb on my mouse or something. That'd be really, really nice. Die. Okay, now we can just destroy all these guys and head on up. Alright. This is going to be a bit of a shorter Yamachek tries, because I'm ending it here. Um, it's honestly getting a little bit repetitive, and the having to move my mouth, my hand back and forth between the mouse and the keyboard to, to throw bombs is, is just super, super frustrating. Um, so if you're going to be playing this game, then I would recommend changing your hotkeys when you start for the bombs. That's I-J-K-L. Change those to something you can hit with your hand on the mouse, or with your hand on, uh, on the controls moving around as well because it is highly frustrating to uh, to have to keep moving back and forth but the gameplay is, uh, is smooth it's fun it's mildly challenging um, if it looks like you'd like it you probably like it again it's available for 10.99 Canadian on Steam it's fine um, 10.99 seems like a, a bit steep for this game to be honest with you but uh, hey if, you, if you're gonna be getting into speedrunning this, you're gonna be spending a few hours like learning it and getting good at it. I mean, that's a fair trade in my opinion. So uh, anyway, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.